Alright, welcome back to Kali Linux Wireless Pin Testing. We're now coming into Section 3 for Reconnaissance. In this section, we're going to learn how to scan airwaves, which is the basic way. Hunting down networks, we're going to go into some more advanced features and techniques. MITM, a man in the middle attack. We'll learn how to reach out and listen to somebody. And then find and access points. Now in this video, scanning airwaves, basic. Built-in GUI. We will search for Wi-Fi signals the way that everyone knows how to. Recon networks. Prior to just randomly hacking into a Wi-Fi network, we need to recon it or reconnaissance. By learning who owns it, uh, we can, and why we need to exploit it. What else is there on that network? So basically, in a nutshell, what this means is. Let's say you was hired by company XYZ to exploit their networks. Okay, so that's when you'd go in and you'd say, okay, hey guys, you know, what's going on? What is it about? Go to their office, take a look around, see what's going on. There might be a couple of cases where a company would have a hidden wireless network that, would, uh, that they use for internal communications. So, you know, there's that option that's always there. And for example, for something like that, let's say company XYZ hires you to exploit their wireless networks to see if you can find any traffic going to or from their network. So you're scanning, you're scanning, you're scanning, and then we do a, you know, you see that they have a network that's hidden. Well, then you, you know, try to brute force your way past that wireless network, and then you can do your recon work on that to see what traffic is being flowed through that wireless network name. Now, if you just follow me from this previous section, then you know what we're going to do. We're going to go to our wireless setting. So basically what we have here is our GUI-based Wi-Fi network. We have our SSID name. We can see if it's locked and see the signal strength of it. And we can see a whole bunch of different people that is on here. Now, if you did follow me over from section two, you know, we can sit here and see like, if you remember some of them, one of them was, like, FBI surveillance. And when we're looking over here, that's not on here. We don't see FBI surveillance. And I'm all the way down to the very bottom. There's no FBI surveillance at all. I'm doing it one more time going up. So, no, there is no Wi-Fi or FBI surveillance on here. So, we know that that was, you know, a type of hidden network. So, basically, what we have now is we can sit here, we can't see like their MAC addresses, we can't see what channel they're operating on, we can't even see their power level. So by sitting here and just looking at this, we have a very basic understanding of how Wi-Fi networks work. So if I was to come over here, click on you know, my Wi-Fi network, select network, come over here, and I can actually connect to this one. Uh, which happens to be a printer. It's an open network, and the signal is really strong. So whoever in my apartment complex has this printer, I can actually connect to it and print out, ha ha, you've been hacked, or something like that. And then some poor old lady or poor old man is going to sit there and read it and go, oh my god, oh my god, I've been hacked, and not know what's really going on. Now, if you did something like that, well, that's a hee hee ha ha joke, I mean, people can take it the right way. But you can't exactly get in trouble for that because of the fact that it's an open network. Basically, if it's open, you didn't pass or protect your printer, well, yeah, anybody can print from it. Although, it would be so nice to have, you know, proper authorization to print from that printer. But, you know, don't do anything too vulgar, you know, to where it's like a harassment. So, by coming through here... We can sit here and see that there is network IDs. We can see that it is locked. We can see the signal strength. So if you click on one and you click on connect, it's going to ask you for the network key. And, you know, if you might know it, then just go ahead and type it in, ABC123, or, you know, it could be password123. It could be anything. And then you just click connect, and that will allow you to connect to the wireless network. 